So now, with that front-facing camera, I can go ahead and uh, oops, make a call. This is a FaceTime call. I'm going to call actually someone back uh, in Cupertino, California. And so we're going to make this video call over the internet and uh, connect up with our Apple ha headquarters where some people are working and eager to take our calls. Here we are connecting. Blythe, Blythe, how are you doing? Good. So uh, we've got a great call here going here with FaceTime. Again, this is happening all over the internet, all over our Wi-Fi network here. And we're calling Apple headquarters in California. So Blythe, why don't you switch to the rear camera and you can show uh, how California is looking this, uh, this uh, nice day. You see a blue sky outside her window. Gorgeous that is. So very easy to see your surroundings and what's around you. So uh, why don't you go ahead and switch back, Blythe, to the front-facing camera. See how easy it was just to kind of a tap of the button to switch uh, to see what you're seeing. So uh, thanks a lot for the call. Talk to you later. Bye. So that works actually with the uh, microphone. Can you show me how the FaceTime is configured? How do you set up the FaceTime? FaceTime account? just uses an, uh, an your email account, so you can recent calls, or you just basically have contacts that you have, and in your contacts are basically just uh, an email address that is associated with, and so uh, that's all you have to you do. do it through settings. Uh, no, nothing you really need to do. There's a FaceTime app. The first time you launch the FaceTime app, it'll actually ask you to set up your account and what email address you want. And then after that, when you launch FaceTime, it just uh, has your contacts list that you've imported from your computer, and then anyone can uh, be called there. So these are just the favorites that I've set up.